Hello and welcome to the screencast. Uh, here we'll take a look at pivot tables and how to create a report filter in a pivot table. Now as I assume that you already know how to create a basic pivot table. If not, check the previous uh, video on this. So you have this data set of colleges and some public, uh, some numerical information about these colleges. Click anywhere in this table, insert and click on pivot table it will automatically select the table range. Click OK and you will now be taken to a different worksheet that contains a pivot table uh, template. Now, we'll first select, uh, let me enlarge this a little bit. We'll first select uh, whether a college is public or private and use that as a, as a column label or, or maybe a row label. And next we'll see how many full-time undergraduate and part-time undergraduate students are there. And we don't want a count of colleges. Instead, we want a sum of the total number of people enrolled as full-time undergraduates. So this is the full number of undergraduates in uh, full-time undergraduates in public universities. And this is the full number in private universities. But what if you want to see this figure individually for each state? So what you can do then is to include a filter, a report filter by state name. I can just drag this and drop it into the report filter box. And now you have the ability to filter your report by state. So if you click on this drop down arrow and select multiple items, you can uncheck the all box and you can check the specific state that you want for example California and click OK and now you have the number of full-time undergraduate students um, enrolled in private in public universities and private universities in the state of California so that's one way in which you can select a report filter to make your data more presentable that's it for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this. Check out more in codable.com.